Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Bailey, and I'll be seeing you today. Now, what brings you into my clinic today? Okay, I'm just getting a standard cranial nerve exam. All right, um, were you recommended here by a different doctor? You've been watching YouTube videos, okay. So you're more or less familiar with what a cranial nerve exam entails. Okay, well that's, that's perfect. Being as you're a seasoned vet, do you have a preference on where we start today? Okay, that works fine. Well, before we dive into it, let me get some of your quick uh, basic information here. It won't take too long. Sound good? Beautiful. Okay. Now, if you don't mind me asking you, what is your first and last name, please? beautiful name. And what's your date of birth? Okay. Perfect. Now um, I need to get your approximate height and weight. Okay. Does that fluctuate a few pounds, give or take? Okay. Beautiful. And really quick. Um, do you smoke? And do you drink? Roughly how many times a week? All right. Got a house party later if you're a film board. Just kidding. <laughs> but seriously. Okay, anyway. What we're gonna do, get started here. to put my gloves on so I don't transmit any bacteria over to you. And once I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and put my stethoscope in and get a quick reading on your heartbeat as well as just uh, get a nice listen to your lungs. Does that sound good? Beautiful, okay, perfect. Okay. Now, during this, there's no need to stress. It's a very painless and easy test. Um, with that said, try to relax, focus on your breathing. If you doze off at all, that's completely fine. Um, I've had patients go full on uh, snoring before, so don't feel bad, okay? Wonderful. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get a nice quick listen here, okay? I'm gonna get a little closer, and I'm gonna put my hand up your shirt, is that okay? Okay, here we go. Okay, give me a deep breath in, and out. in and out okay my friend you sound healthy as a horse no issues at all okay so you said you wanted to start with the uh, sense of taste first um, so, with that said, what I have here is a vial of naturally flavored corn syrup, okay? I've got five of these, 
And what I'm gonna do, shake it up. I'm gonna fill up the little dropper here. Okay, I'm gonna ask you to stick your tongue out. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna give you a few drops on the old tongue, okay? Give you a few seconds to process what flavor you taste, and then you're gonna report back to me, okay? Very easy. Sound good? Okay, perfect. All right, well, without further ado, go ahead and stick your tongue out for me. Say huh? All right, my friend, what do you taste there? Chocolate, that's right. Good start. All right, here's our second flavor. Go ahead and stick your tongue out. Uh -huh. Three nice drops there. Take your time. Yep, that'd be strawberry, good job. That one actually tastes really good, big fan. Okay. So far, we're two for two. Our third flavor here. This one might be a little tricky. All right, what's that taste like? Close enough, it's lime. Lemon, lime, kind of the same thing. Okay, good deal. All right, on to number four here. that taste like? Coffee? Yep. Yeah, I like that one too. It always makes you want to go make a cup. <laughs> You're doing a great job. Four for four. Last one here. Shake it up real good. This one likes to settle. It's super sugary. Okay. Your palate ready? Good, okay. This is my personal favorite. Stick your tongue out. Pina colada, absolutely. Yeah. That one tastes like a vacation. <laughs> good job, okay, well. So far, so good, and you passed that part with flying colors, as I suspected you would. Beautiful job, my friend. Okay, now, Take a quick look into your mouth while we're here on the mouth portion, okay? I'm gonna have you open up your mouth real wide. I've got my flashlight here. I'm gonna take a quick look into your mouth, okay? Really easy, straightforward test here. Um, just to kind of check around, all right? Perfect, all right, open up wide for me, say, huh? And feel around your jaw, is that okay? Good. Okay, yeah, nothing to be concerned about there at all. Healthy as a horse. All right, now, we've got a few tests left. We've got vision, hearing, smell, and then we're probably gonna just go ahead and test your uh, 
nerves on your face. A little poke test. So, which one do you want to do next? Perfect. All right. All right. Now, as far as your eyes go, have you been experiencing any issues there? Any trouble seeing? Any dryness? Anything like that? Your eyes have been a little bit dry? Okay. Well, it's kind of normal this time of year. Well, it can be for people that suffer from allergies, seasonal allergens. So I'll take a look at that um, if you want me to, that is. Okay, good. All right, I'm going to get my flashlight here, okay? We're just going to pull down your eyelid. Is it both eyes in particular, certain eye? Both eyes? Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to take a quick look, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and pull up on this lid now and look inside there. Okay. And we're gonna check this side now, pulling up on your eyelid here. You're doing a good job, just keep hanging out. All right, beautiful. Okay, well, my friend, you got a little bit of dryness there, it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and take a quick sample, okay? Send it off to the lab, see if you got any bacterial infections going on to cause that irritation. But I think it's just allergies, but we want to be sure, so, um, un momento, por favor. Just very simple, simple tasks here, nothing painful at all. I've got some cotton swabs. Making sure they're still good, okay. And just gonna dampen it up here. All right, I'm gonna get in really close. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift, pour, excuse me, pull down your eyelid um, on your right eye and your left eye. Um, and get a little sample, okay? I'll use one end respectively for each eye, so no issue there for, uh, you know, carrying over any bacteria from one eye to the other. Um, so with your permission, I'll go ahead and do that. Perfect, okay. Okay, just pulling down this eyelid here. Get a quick little dab there, good. And Turn over our cotton swab, do the same thing here. Beautiful. That is an easy one indeed. And then what I'll do is place the sample in my container here, okay? And we'll have that sent off to the lab. Beautiful. Okay. Now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and check your base uh, baseline vision here. Make sure your eyes are working how they're supposed to. Okay. Really quick look at a Snellen chart. I'm not an optometrist, but I do want to make sure you can see at least a little bit. Okay. So. Really quickly, using both eyes, go ahead and reline four for me. Beautiful. Do you think you can get that line right there? It's pretty small. Okay. All right. Good effort. All right, well, can you tell me what color this is on the bottom here? 
red. Beautiful. And what about that color right there? Nice green color. Okay, good. All right. Looks like there's no issue there with the eyes. Okay, what I want to do now is work on your peripheral um, as well as just kind of overall test your pupillary response to make sure that your eyes are working um, effectively. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have you focus on my nose. Okay, I'm going to bring my light into your field of view. Once you see the light come into your field of view, I just need you to give me a thumbs up or say okay. All right? Beautiful. Okay. All right, focus on my nose. Good. Keep focusing on my nose. Good work. Good. All right, look right here. Good. Fantastic work. Keep looking at my nose. Good. Good. Same thing, I want you to look at my nose. I'm gonna bring a light closer to your eyes, okay? Um, testing sort of your depth of field, um, situational awareness with uh, your ability to pick up objects from your peripheral. Sound good? Good, all right, here we go. Same thing, look at my nose. Good. Good. Focus on my nose. Good. Keep looking at my nose. Good. Good, good, good job, great job. Same thing here, okay, to keep focusing on my nose. Good, 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 good job. All right, my friend, so far so good. Now, just to test one more time here, how your eyes work in tandem with one another. Okay, I'm gonna have you just follow my fingers around. Very easy test, okay, sound good? Perfect, all right, here we go. Look at my finger, just follow it around. Good, good. Do me a favor and keep your head still, okay? Just use your eyes. Perfect, all right. Good job. Good job. This finger now. Good, good. Good job. Good. Good, all right. And really quick. I'm gonna put both my fingers up like so, okay? Whenever you see one wiggle, just point to it. Sound good? Good. I told you this was a really easy test. Nothing to worry about. Okay, well, here we go. Let me know when you see one wiggle, okay? Beautiful, good job. Good. Good, same thing. Good. Good, 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 good job. Fantastic work, my friend. So far, nothing to be concerned about. Your eyes are working perfectly in tandem with one another. Your pupillary response looked marvelous, and you were picking up objects from your peripheral just as how I would expect you to, okay? What I want to do now, just to wrap this portion of the test up, is get in really close, feel around your eyes, your eye socket, up to your brow and on the sides of your temple. Sound good? Okay. Is it okay if I get a little closer? Perfect. Here we go. Okay. Just feeling around this left eye here. Let me know if any of this is uncomfortable. I feel okay. Okay, perfect. And going over to your right eye now, let me know if any of this is uncomfortable at all. I feel okay. Good. 
Okay, nothing at all to be concerned about there. Everything feels fine. I didn't notice any bumps, abrasions, anything like that. So you're doing a good job so far. Actually, you're doing perfect. Okay, well, what's our next step? We've done taste, we've done vision. Let's do smell now, okay? What I have are um, a few different um, odors, if you will, scents. I've got three. I don't need to go through a bunch to test and see if your nose works okay, but I do want to make sure it works. So I've just got a few different flavor droplets here, okay. Uh, essentially just an Epsom salt type of deal, but not as salty, but it's going to carry flavor. I'm just going to waft it in front of your nose and you just tell me what you smell. Very easy, okay? Perfect. Before we start, have you noticed anything with your nose that um, might be reason for concern for you? A little stuffy? Okay. Well, it probably has to do with the sinuses this time of year. But um, I'll go ahead and take a look with the flashlight after we do this test. All right, let me know what you smell here. Cinnamon, perfect. Let's try again. Yep, yep, good job. Okay, now, got two more. I like this one a lot. This one smells really nice. It's kind of a niche smell, but if you know, you know. What's that one smell like? Tobacco. Yep, that's tobacco. Good job. And last but not least. Yeah, yeah, that one's grape. Good job. I like that one a lot. It smells like Kool-Aid. quick look here at your nose. Make sure everything is going good there. Do me a favor, okay? Just tilt your head up a little bit and I'm going to take a look up your nose. seeing anything. Check out that other nostril. A little bit of irritation there, but nothing to be too concerned about. You've been blowing your nose quite a bit. Okay, yeah. A little bit irritated, but nothing to be concerned about. We'll keep an eye on it. I really do think it has a lot to do with the pollen in the air this time of year. So don't be too concerned. All right, well, um, moving on to our fourth test. We're going to test your hearing, okay? This is a very easy, straightforward test. Essentially, what I'll do is um, whisper a few words into your ears. Um, and I just need you to repeat the words back to me when you hear them, okay? Good. Have you been experiencing any issues with your ears at all? Not really? Good. Okay. Well, we'll go ahead and start with your left ear here. And uh, then we'll move to your right. Sound good? Perfect. All right. Chocolate. Chocolate. Yeah, good job. Summer. Yeah. Good job. Ocean. Ocean. Perfect. Relax. 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 
relax. Exactly. Good job. Okay. Now I'm going to move to your other ear. We're going to test the hearing in that ear. Test, test, test. Test, yep. Success, yeah. Doctor, doctor, doctor. Doctor, mm hmm. Turquoise. One more time, okay. Turquoise. Turquoise, yeah, good job. Congratulations, you passed that part of the test too. I knew you would. So what I want to do now is just test your uh, ability to hear from a distance, okay? So what I'm going to do, it's really easy, I'm going to um, sort of flutter my fingers in your ears, okay? And then slowly move my hands away. I need you to just tell me when you can't hear my fingers fluttering anymore. Sound good? Okay, here we go. Good job. Let's do that one more time. All right, perfect. They were looking fantastic there. Okay, so no worries at all. Now, last test on your ears before we move to the prodding and poking portion of the test <laughs> is uh, I've got a couple of tuning forks just really briefly want to test and see if you can hear these certain frequencies. It might be an indicator of uh, hearing damage or subsequent loss of hearing. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a listen if that's okay. All right. We're going to start with your right ear first. Here we go. You hear that okay? Good. All right, I want to move your left ear now. You heard that okay? Perfect. All right, same thing, just a slightly higher pitch. We're gonna move uh, between your ears, same as we just did. Sound good? Okay, let me know if this hurts your ears at all. Did you hear that? One more time. You hear that okay? Good, all right. How about that? Perfect, okay. One more time. You hear that okay? Perfect, okay, good. All right. Um, okay. Excuse me, very last test here. We're just gonna test your, um, the feeling on your face. Make sure you don't have any uh, spots in your face that are failing to receive uh, feeling. This could indicate um, neurological damage. Uh, maybe you suffered a seizure, not a seizure, but a stroke or a small stroke. You might have numbness in the face. So. I don't think you have, I don't have any reason for concern here, but I do want to feel around anyway. So I've got this little metal object here and it's not sharp, but it is uh, sharp in a, in a sense. Um, additionally, I'm also going to use my finger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to either poke with this tool or my finger around your face and you just tell me sharp or dull, okay? Perfect. Didn't do a very good job explaining that, sorry. Here we go. Just close your eyes and tell me what you feel. Good. Dull, good. Sharp. Dull, good. Sharp. Dull. You're doing a good job. Sharp. Good job. Sharp, yep. Dull, good, and 
your heart. Yep. Oh. Beautiful. Great job. Okay, well, my friend, I don't see anything going on with you out of the ordinary at all. You seem to be in tip-top shape, so I have no reason to fear. Um, I'm going to ask you, um, do you think you need me to subscribe you some uh, eye drops until the seasonal pollen and stuff pass? Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna write you a note here and just give this to the receptionist when you leave. And uh, she will get you taken care of. You just go pick this up at your local pharmacy at your earliest convenience. Uh, it's covered by insurance, so don't worry. Here you go. Good. And my friend, I'm done if you're done. Do you have any questions for me? job. I told you there was nothing to worry about. I saw you relaxing. That's good. This is always a nice, pleasurable experience when you let it be. So good for you for allowing yourself to relax. Um, but yeah, you know where to find me if you have any, you know, questions, concerns, or just need to come back in for any reason at all. Um, please contact me and I'd be happy to help you out. Sound good? Perfect. Okay. Well, you did a fantastic job, my friend, and uh, we'll be seeing you. Okay. All right, bye now.